Well, hey everybody! Welcome back to another basic banjo lesson with Willow. This week we're going to work on the famous Ballad of Jed Clampett. Now, I do have a Patreon as well as a digital PayPal tip jar linked in the description box down below if you'd like to donate a little bit to help support these lessons. Let's go! Okay, so Ballad of Jed Clampett. This song utilizes reverse rolls, forward rolls, and Cripple Creek rolls, so it's a great song to practice your rolls on. All right, here we go. We're gonna do a little walk up, fourth string open, hit that second fret, walk up to the fourth, little classic walk up, three, pinch five and one, three, pinch five and one. Then we're gonna slide on the third string from the second fret to the fourth and play a little Cripple Creek roll. So three, two, five, one. Then we're going to pull off from the 3rd fret to the 2nd fret on the 3rd string and we're going to go 3, 2, let go, 3, 1. Okay, then we're going to go up to an A minor shape and we're going to go, we're going to do a reverse roll. Okay, so then our A minor shape is, it's like a C but you just move your middle finger over to the third string, second fret. Okay, reverse roll. Three, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. Then we're gonna hit four open. Gonna let go of our ring finger. Five, three, one, five, three, one. Okay, so here's what we have so far. to our partial D shape, which will be the third string, second fret, and fourth string, fourth fret. And we're going to play two reverse rolls, and it's going to sound like this. So it's a little bit different, um, whereas we are letting go of that third string on the, the end of the first reverse roll, and then picking it right back up, okay? So we're going... Okay, so we let go of our index finger at the end of the first reverse roll. And then, as soon as we do that, we put our index finger back on the third string. And then we start our second reverse roll with that third and we end on the fourth string. Okay, so this is what it will be. So, here's both of them together. Okay, and then... We're going to let go of our index again and slide from the 4th fret to the 5th fret on our um, ring finger and we're going to do a reverse roll again. <laughs> okay, so then we catch that 2nd fret 4th string at the end of that reverse roll as well. This song really makes you practice your reverse rolls. So here we go. Okay. So that would be like the first little part of this song. And so this is what it sounds like. So pinch five and one. So we're gonna go hit fourth string open again. And then um, hit that second fret fourth string, third string open, pinch five and one together again, pinch three, five and one together again. And then we're gonna do the same little um, slide pull off routine. Then we're gonna go to a partial C shape. So we'll have our um, index finger and our ring finger engaged, and then hit two, two, one, five, two, one. Then we're going to take our middle finger and catch the second string, second fret. This will sound a little bit weird on its own, but it's, it's a really nice little walk up um, when, once you put it with the rest of it. So don't freak out if it sounds weird. <laughs> so we have two, two, one, five, two, one, five. Okay, so here it is. Then 
we're just gonna take our C shape and move all the way up to um, two frets. So now you'll be on the third and fourth fret, and then you're gonna go two, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, two, one, five, two, one, and then we're gonna go four, five, one. Hit that um, fourth string, second fret. Hit that uh, fourth fret, fourth string. <laughs> That's kind of a tongue twister. Um, and then go three, pinch. So you go three, pinch, slide. Do a little cripple creek roll. Back to three, pinch. So it goes. Okay, so that is the whole song. And let me play it for you now. watch my video. If you like this one, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment or a like, and I'll catch you next time.